Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I'm gonna show you how to make these volumetric god rays that I used in this render. So this is a free C Lab model you can get at the Pixel Lab, and let's go over how to make these rays underwater. So here's our scene. First thing we're gonna do is add a light, and we're gonna drag it up a little ways. And we're gonna to wanna to make this a spotlight. So let's go into our light settings, and under type, let's change this to a spotlight. Then let's rotate it down so it's pointing at our scene. So the next thing we wanna do is make this visible. So if we hit render now, we're not gonna be able to see the light. So we wanna change the visible light to volumetric. And if we do that, we're gonna start seeing the light. So we need to bring down the fall off quite a bit further down. So we're gonna click and drag this guy way down here. We can also go to our outer angle and we can make sure it's covering the full scene and let's see what that looks like. So now we're getting a little bit more of a visible light. So now we need to figure out how to break up this light so that we have uh, kind of patterns through this light. And we're gonna do that by making a gobo. So in real life, a gobo is a little plate that you put in front of the light and it has a little pattern on it to break up the light. So we're gonna do that by making a uh, plane and we're gonna drag that up right in front of the light. And then we need to make a pattern so that the light goes through the pattern and it kind of breaks up the light. So we're gonna do that by making a new material and let's disable everything except for the alpha channel. We'll turn that on. And under the texture, let's twirl down and add a noise. So the noise can be pretty much anything. We just need a little bit of black and white. So we'll do something like this guy. And let's play around with the low clip and high clip just to give it a bit more definition, something like that. And let's chuck this onto our plane and hit render and see what it looks like. So already you can see we're just about there. We have all the light rays kind of being broken up by that noise pattern, that alpha channel, and we're getting really close to what we want. Now this is actually illuminating our scene. If we want that, that's fine. Otherwise we can go to our um, general tab and check on no illumination. That way we'll get all those god rays, um, but we won't have the model being lit by them. And then you can light your model separately with different lights. So that might be something you wanna do. Now, if you're doing an underwater scene, we're gonna take this light and we'll just uh, tint it to a nice aqua color, something like this. And if we hit render, you can see that we're getting some really nice underwater looks right here. Now, the really nice thing about doing it with a noise pattern is that if we go into our noise, we actually have an animation speed right here. Um, actually right here, animation speed. So if we chuck that up to one, we can right click on our little thumbnail and click animate, and you can see the animation. So this is a little bit too fast, but maybe 0.3, you can see that it's slowly moving and undulating. And if we render an animation of these rays, they'll slowly be flickering, which would mimic an underwater scene. So that's a really nice feature of doing it with a noise pattern rather than maybe putting some cubes in front of the light. So this is a really nice and flexible way to get a lot of different looks and also have it animate. So I think that's about it. That's a really quick and dirty way to set up volumetric lights and get some of those really cool god rays and you can get some cool underwater scenes just like this. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.